same thing. Now, now we're going to start on the ground, okay? So we're going to start over here. Okay, now we're going to start over here, okay? And same thing, he's holding on to it, right? So you always, I mean, some people like to grab it this way, to grab the leg, you know, but then you're going to be putting more weight on his legs. And it's going to give a chance, if he's bigger than me, it's going to give a chance for him to come up this way. All right? And usually, like, they get up, right? They get, they get on the knees, right? And then you're over here, all right? So, so I suggest, all right, you want to keep the weight on his head, okay? Because that makes it harder for him to come up, all right? <coughs> So from here, you're gonna grab your collar, you're gonna put your hand over here on the ground. You're gonna lean this way because then you have more range in this leg and put it right through over here, see? You're gonna take the leg, and where his arms is, right? Right between, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your knee a little bit and then your hand is gonna go, see behind, I'm gonna take my leg out so you guys can see it. The back of my hand is gonna go this way, right? On the back of his neck. So you're not gonna go, you're not gonna reach like this. You're gonna have to reach with your palm facing down, okay? So, but first, you wanna open your knee, get the hand first, and then all of a sudden, you're gonna take this leg out and grab your shin, all right? It's important that you guys do it this way because, see, if you take this out, and sometimes you try to reach here, he's not gonna let you. He's gonna keep the head down. You're gonna have a hard time, you see, catching your hand, you see? So I suggest you go here and then then you grab it, right? So first you put the hand this way, and then you take the leg out, and then you grab your shin. Now, I want him to go this way. So I'm gonna roll, you see? This way, I'm gonna, I want him to go on his knees. So he's gonna go on his knees, right? I'm gonna already, so put this foot on his hip, right? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna squeeze it, right? You don't wanna close it like this, because then you're gonna be closing on the side of his leg. What you do is you put your foot on his hip, get a bite, of his neck with your leg, all right? Scoop yourself back, all right? Lock it, bring his arm underneath your armpit, two hands on the back of the neck, right? And squeeze them together, all right? The last, thing, the last thing to go up is your hip, all right? All right, so here, all right? So you're gonna have to first, Right, grab your collar, put your hand on the ground here, lean this way, all right? Because if you, if you be like this, it's gonna be hard to get the leg through. So that's why you have to lean this way, get the leg through. Get the hand first, just open your knee, get the hand right behind the back of his neck, and then all of a sudden, you see? Grab your shin, let him go on his knees, all right? But my, this foot is gonna go on his hip, okay? And that to prevent his hip from going, you know, from moving forward. You're keeping him in the same place. Now I'm gonna get a bite, I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna get a bite of his neck with my whole leg, see? There is no gap. I hold on to his arm over here. Alright, I think of four of my legs, I roll my toes up, bring my arm over, right? Make sure his arm is underneath my armpit. Now over here I squeeze. Okay? Let's go. Come on, let's try it.